Well, I think I need to talk to my only employee because she slept in and showed up late for work today. Also, if you didn't know, I am literally my only employee. Good morning, super cool party people. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Monday. It is a day where I intend to get up early and be super productive and just kill the day. And it is currently 11.30. I have had, I've been on social media for a while and I've had, oh my goodness, my brain, some breakfast, lunch, brunch, let's call it brunch. And now I'm just finally getting up stairs to my desk. So that's exciting. <laughs> so bad like honestly I'm the worst uh, but last night when I went to sleep I was so optimistic and full of hope when it was like midnight I was climbing to bed I'm like I got this and then as the minutes and hours ticked by and it was like two o'clock before I like finally got to sleep I was like hmm this sucks and then so when my alarm went off at eight this morning I was like uh-uh we ain't doing this and so I just turned off all my alarms and went back to sleep We'll try again another day. Not tomorrow, because tomorrow I actually have to work, but maybe the next day. So that's where we're at. I am currently, I think, going to move my sewing machine off the desk and start cutting some masks. I have two, five that I need to make for people, and then I'm gonna make myself a galaxy one and then probably a couple extra galaxy ones because they're super adorable. Um, and then I got an email back from the brother people and it was like, we need this extra information. Like, is it plugged into the wall? Have you tried a different outlet? It's like, it's not a power issue. <laughs> and then, and we need your serial number, which at the very bottom of my first query, I was like, and here is my serial number. So, <sighs> so I'll, I'll email them back again later today to be like, <sighs> just that I will just email them ah. but yeah so I think I gotta start cutting masks I need to go wash my hands first though because I just ate and uh I've noticed that like since COVID started I've been washing my hands more not necessarily because of COVID things but just because I'm always working with fabric and so I have to have like clean hands if I'm embroidering or if I'm sewing or if I'm cutting fabric so I just feel like I wash my hands so much now which is a good thing anyways I'm currently rambling I'm gonna start to move here but I'm feeling very very slow today it's so sunny right now it's crazy like look that's all sun oh. <laughs> anyways I've just spent the last undisclosed amount of time I'm not really sure how long I was working on it but I cut all the all the linings and all the masks that I want to sew today so that's exciting I'm just sewing the this part together right now and then I'll give them an iron do the nose pieces and just kind of keep going from there this lens of mine is like so covered in dust better anyways that's where we're at it is quarter to two presently and in my brain I'm like you know if you had got up early and started sewing at like nine like the plan was it would only be like 10 30 max but you know it is what it is so this is what I'm doing. I'm watching Covert Affairs, of course, because that's my current show that I'm watching. I need to come up with one after this, I think. Although, like, I've just been, like, on Amazon Prime because it's my newest thing. And I'm sure there's, like, stuff on Disney and Netflix that I could choose. I just need to find something, so that's cool. And I'm really tired. <sighs> but I don't think I'm, like, really tired. I think I've just been sitting here for too long, so... What can you do? Maybe gonna go to Fabricland later today and get some Christmas fabric for scrunchies. We shall see. But for now, it's mask time. What is up? <laughs> it's like five now. I ordered milkshakes because I wanted one. I was hungry too and I was like, when are we doing dinner? And so I was like, milkshake all tied me over. Anyways, I am sewing. I currently have math number one two three four five if seven left to sew around of these masks i'm working on i always forget like how long things take specifically masks because there are so many little details i think i start it somewhere between 12 30 and one actually like cutting and it's five so like this has been like four and a half hours 
I am still nowhere near finished because the next step is flipping everything and then top stitching and then doing the sides and the ha ah, ha it takes so long. It's fine. Anyways, at least I enjoy it. I am on season five of Covert Affairs now. I'm not sure how many seasons there are. Six or seven, I think. Um, and yeah, so we're gonna probably start thinking about dinner here soon. And um, I don't know, man, I'm just really tired, but I'm working and <laughs> if only I had got up at nine or start at work at nine work. <laughs> like I said, I was going to, I could probably do other things, but I think the eventual plan is to, on days when I don't work at the theater, work like nine to 4.30 or eight to 4.30 or something like that. And then in the evenings, that's when I'll do my other creative <laughs> pursuits. So like uh, editing vlogs and stuff and also writing because writing is something I have not done since March, I think, maybe April. So yeah, probably March because April I got my sewing machine and then it's just I haven't stopped since. So that's something I would like to get back into. I just need to allocate time properly. So that's on the books, that's on the thoughts. I still need to set up my agenda for this week and hopefully that'll help me. I wanna set up my goal board even though I know there's only like two weeks left in October, less than that, but it's fine. Anyways, that's where we're at. Just wanted to update quickly because I feel like I haven't, like all I've been doing is sitting at my sewing machine for hours and that's okay, but I just feel like I just haven't had contact with any humans at all. And I know this is like, but yeah, that's where I'm at. Alrighty, well I've definitely just been sitting at my desk all day working. It's 20 after 11 now. I'm in my PJs and I and I'm ready to climb into bed. I got the 13 masks I was working on to like 90%, uh, which is good. I just need to sew the channels in and then put the elastic in. Win. Um, I probably could have cut them done, but there was lots of times when I was just like, I don't want to do this anymore. And like, I actually stopped working at them at, I think, 9.30. And it just, I've just been chilling since, I think. Cause like I said, I was, I'm a little bit of English. <laughs> my like words were going too fast for my brain. Um, Cause I want to try to start having a bit of a stockpile of masks. So I think I'm going to make Monday mask Monday because it, they both, it's alliteration. Um, but I'll try not to, I'll do like six. Because I think six is magical to get done, and every Monday I'll just do six masks, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to go sleep now. So, this vlog was very short. I'll just continue on tomorrow, so I will see you in the morning when I go to work. <laughs> Good night. Good morning, super cool party people. And welcome back to the vlog and to the theater. I just got here. It is just before eight. Just putting my drinks in the fridge because I don't, so like my backpack has a cooler bag built into the front pocket, which is great. And so when I first got the backpack, I'm like, who would ever use this? Me, turns out me, I use it because it is fantastic. But recently, probably within the last couple months, I realized, hey, you can transfer that from there into the fridge. And then it's so much colder. Like obviously the cooler bag keeps it pretty cold, but this way, so much colder. I like how you can see the red <laughs> painting as I walk past. So I am here, fantastic, I am awake. I had some really weird dreams last night. I think it was all kind of combined into one, but it was very Chronicles of Narnia inspired. Like I think the kids from Chronicles of Narnia were there, but instead of like going through a wardrobe and going to this different place or something like that, they were like time travelers basically. <laughs> and I remember walking past and the older girl, I do not remember their names. She was like talking to this boy that she was like dating, I guess. And I don't know if she was trying to explain what they did, but I heard her mention a place. And the boy was like, oh, well that's just all ruins because of the war. And she was like, well, yeah, like I, I wasn't there for that, but like their instructor and the little girl uh, experienced it firsthand. And he's like, wait, what? <laughs> so random. And then, Part of my dream, I found like boxes of meat that were supposed to be in the freezer, <laughs> but there was like no room in the freezer. And I was like, well, come back to that later. <laughs> and then like this other person was like, hey, look, I found all this meat. I'm like, no, 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 I've been ignoring that. 
Um, so that was weird. And then there was something to do with, I want to say setting up, not hammocks, but something similar. And then I kind of woke up out of that. But yeah, just a whole bunch of weirdness going on for sure. Didn't sleep the greatest. That is certain um but we're doing all right I, I like woke up at five and i was like wide awake and my body was like hey you got like five hours you're good right and i'm like no we are trying to fix this problem go back to sleep so got a little bit more sleep but hopefully tonight will be better assuming everything goes to plan my weight at blanket will be here today fingers crossed because like I'm so jazzed about this the only thing is it's coming through pure later and I'm pretty sure that pure later won't just dump it at your front door like Amazon does so we'll see I'm just hoping that for like the 20 25 minutes when there's nobody home today um before I get home from work that like there it doesn't come then so Keep you posted on that. And I'm gonna get off my breakfast drink now and then start working, of which I actually have more stuff to do today than Saturday, which I'm just jazzed about. Well, hello. I am home now. It is like so sunny outside. It's insane, which is great considering it is fall. It's like 12 degrees. This is like my sweet spot, 12 degrees. <laughs> um, it seems like, I can hear a truck. Maybe that's pure later. It is not pure later. It's just a diesel truck. Um, it, it seems like from what I've got here is they have not attempted to deliver it, which is exciting. So that's all that matters. They have not attempted to deliver my weighted blanket and I am at home now and I will not be going anywhere today. So fingers crossed, everything goes well and my weighted blankets arrived blanket arrives today. I got the um the dual pack. So it, oh my god, my battery's gonna die. Why? Anyways, I got the dual pack that comes with like the iced cover for hotter days and then the regular cover for just regular days. So I can probably just use the regular one because it hasn't been super hot, which is great, but that's where we're at. And now that I'm home, I'm probably gonna eat in a bit here, but I've got some masks to finish. So the goal today I think is gonna be to finish masks and then just sew a bunch of scrunchies in straight lines. And by that, I mean just close up this massive selection here. I was thinking about things today. Um, so Monday mask day, Friday photo day. So like anything that I need to take pictures of to go either on my social medias or my store, I will do that Friday. And then I'm thinking Tuesday will generally be a cutting day, like cutting fabric. Um, and then the other Wednesday and Thursday will be sewing days, but we'll see. The plan for today is, to, this week's a little weird, but the plan for today is to finish these and then do the scrunchies and then email brother about my machine to be like, listen, read my email properly. And I think I'm gonna include a picture that shows that it's lit up, but just not showing anything. So that's where we're at. I think I'm going to, again, just sew for a bit and then we'll see how, where the day takes us. Like I should make my bed. I have clothes on my bed <laughs> that I should fold and put away. And then there's clothes in my hamper, which is underneath my bed that I should do the same too, but it's fine. So that's where we're at. I'm gonna go for now and I'll check with you in a bit. It came! <laughs> you might not be able to see it because like lighting is questionable. Better. I can fix it a little more. There we go. Diffuse that light. So here is my hush blanket. It's a very heavy box here. It is, um, I think 32 pounds is what the manifest said that that box weighs. And then this one just weighs in at a paltry six pounds. I assume that this is, it looks like this one says cooling and this one says classic cover. So I'm assuming that this is just the regular cover for the weighted blanket. Look how nice that is. <laughs> oh, oh, that's soft. I like, I don't know, I expect to be more like um, just a really bleh, regular duvet cover, but it's like, fleecy and soft and oh maybe i won't switch to the classic cover right away because it might still be a little bit too warm for that um and i do kind of sleep warm but i also enjoy sleeping warm it's like oh so <laughs> i got a king size blanket because while i have a queen sized uh, bed. I currently do have a king size blanket on it, and honestly, that was like the best life choice I ever made. It was 2018. Um, I was out in Blind Channel, and I was. It went from either I was like super bored or I just 
didn't stop. Like there was no in between. They were like, oh, these two weeks are going to be so slow. And like, honestly, like I said, it was either extremely busy or extremely dead. And at night it was really boring because there's only like me and Strudel's mom and like two other people. Ooh, hush. <laughs> Guess I'm gonna have to get this box out of this box which isn't easy because it weighs 30 pounds. So anyways, basically I was really bored. I'm like, you know, I'm just gonna order a king size duvet and I have never looked back. I love it. So the only problem with that with the weighted blanket is that it's probably a little bit heavier than it should be for one person, but that's okay. Here it is wrapped so nicely. <laughs> Let's see if I can easily get this out of here. Okay, so I'm assuming that's the cover. It's very, it's very cool. I like, I mean, I bought the cool, the two-in-one with the cool and the regular, but that's very nice. Anyways, let's pull it out. It's like a present that I get to unwrap. Oh, one second. Okay, so here's the situation. My bed is like a disaster due to personal reasons <laughs> of being lazy. But I think I'm just gonna like, flop this out and and flop under it right that's how that's how we do <sighs> it doesn't exactly flop out as one would hope <laughs> duh it is like I can't even describe how cool this is like this versus like my regular duvet there it's just it's so cool and I mean, again, I know I bought the cool one, but I didn't expect it to be like cool. Like these sheets that I have are cool sheets. They're nowhere near as cool as this is. Granted, like this was in a truck, in the back of a truck. So it probably got a little cooler, but I should like probably make my bed after this. But <laughs> let's go. Oh my God. Oh. Yeah. I don't know so much about the weight yet, but the coolness, oh, I could have used this in the summer. All right, so this is where I am for now. <laughs> Alrighty, so I finished the masks I was working on. Um, these two are for my mom's boyfriend. I made a third one for him, but I had finished it last night because of the thread color that was in the machine. It was easy for me to finish. And then over here, I have an order that I have made for a friend. So I will be sending those out maybe tomorrow, probably Thursday though. Um, and then I made a batch of galaxy masks, which I wanted one for myself. <laughs> Can I do this without using both hands? Yes, I can. It is galaxy and it's sparkly. There's glitter. <laughs> My mom was like, I need one of those too. <laughs> So I've got one for her here. I haven't put the elastic in it because she actually prefers um, the ribbon and having the ribbon tied. And so I just don't know um, what length she needs, but isn't, oh, I love it. <laughs> I also have <laughs> just, I need to get a storage situation here, but I have another six that I'm gonna put up on my store in a couple days. And then currently what I think I'm gonna do is get to sewing these guys in straight lines. These are for my friend. I'm seeing him tomorrow, so I'll have to pack those up. Um, but yeah, sewing straight lines of these. Also, got to get rid of the cardboard. And I just spent like 20 minutes laying under this. And I don't know if it's like I'm tired or if this blanket is just like, oh, yeah. Um, because I keep laying under it and I never want to move. So like a little bit column A, a little bit column B probably. Um, but yeah, I will give you an update on that blanket after I sleep under it for at least, I'll probably talk about it tomorrow in the vlog. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I think what I need to do before anything else is do a little bit of tidying um, so then I can feel good about things. Like I have all my elastic here. I actually ordered some, oh, my brain has stopped working. I ordered some organization to either go here like behind or there 
It's, um, I think, the same brand as these guys, in the same size at least, but it has um, two drawers in it. And I ordered two of those so that I can have cut elastic in it just waiting for me. So like, say Tuesday's the day where I cut a bunch of things, I could cut a bunch of elastic. Oh, <laughs> almost failed at saying the word elastic. I could cut a hole. Oh. <laughs> Try again. I could cut a bunch of elastic and leave it in the drawer so I can have like the nine inch flat elastic for scrunchies. Oh, you can't even see it. It's bats today. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> I have a lot of hair, okay? Um, and then the elastic, the black elastic and the white elastic for masks. So that's the plan, but that I got I think it's gonna come on the weekend, so I got time. Um, but today, like I said, I think we sew the scrunchies together and then we'll see what tomorrow holds in that regard. I am going walking with my friend tomorrow, so that's exciting. Um, but I'm sure there's like a million other things that I want to do, but for now clean up the mess because that's it's bad <laughs> mm. alrighty I'm about halfway through I just have those bees and these bees and the pineapples left <laughs> and over here I have Pikachu and these hearts and a Winnie the Pooh one and then just this random one. So I am making pretty good progress. It is 20 or just about 26 now. So I think we will feed myself. I was thinking about ordering in cause it's just me again, but um, I we have onion rings in the freezer. So I'm like onion rings. <laughs> so I'm thinking maybe onion rings and like some chicken strips, like solid meal, but that's what I'm doing. And then after dinner, I will come up I will finish those and then I'll start doing my favorite thing, which is just clipping all the threads and flipping those inside out. And then once those are flipped, I think I showed this earlier, but I have some scrunchies in here that still need to be ironed and finished. So hopefully between today and tomorrow, I can finish this huge batch and then start getting them up on my store, I guess, because <laughs> it's not doing me any good to have all these scrunchies just sitting here. Cause like straight up, this entire thing is full of scrunchies. These ones, the top ones are Halloween, they're on my store. And then there's a couple more in here. Maybe just that one bag, anyways. So yeah, I definitely want to get, by by Friday, I want to get all the scrunchies that I have finished, photographed, and up. Which shouldn't be too hard, I don't think. Anyways, I've got these socks here. <laughs> it's like just got e so easily distracted. Um, they, j I couldn't find one at one point and now I found them both, anyways. I'm gonna go make myself some food now and I will check in with you afterwards as I continue my sewing. What that break? Okay, so <laughs> it's 10 after 10 now, but I have this <laughs> massive pile of scrunchies to show for it. The top couple. So the Disney villains, the Pac-Man and the EB I already had done from when I was making them for Jessica. I just never ironed or finished them. Uh, but I think I probably have like a solid 70 or so in here. <laughs> so my plan for tomorrow is to iron them all, which is like, it's, it's probably the most tedious part of this process. Iron them all and then cut all the elastic to go inside of them. That's the game plan for tomorrow, among a few other things. I'm currently like just covered in thread. Um, it's better than it was. <laughs> it, it was much worse when um, I was cutting it because honestly, at this point, I'm like, I don't even care. I know I'm gonna get covered. So I just like kick back in my chair and just cut threads onto me. It, it's my life. <laughs> um, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna start getting ready for bed here shortly. I finished Covert Affairs and I haven't seen the fifth season, which is the last season. I thought there was one more, but I haven't seen the fifth season as much as the other ones. So I was like watching, I'm like, do I, did I, have I seen this? And then I'd be like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I kind of recognize this. So yeah, it was good. Um, could I could watch some more of it, but there is no more, alas. I just put on Supernatural uh, while I was finishing this because I've seen Supernatural before and I didn't want to commit to anything new in the moment. So that's where I'm at. I'm a little bit tired. Oh, but I did get some mail today. 
I mean, besides my weighted blanket, which I'm jazzed about. I got <laughs> this here, which looks very boring and it's just like a piece of plastic, but it is the Canada Post Slot of Doom. So basically, if I'm sending stuff, anything that can go through this top one can go regular letter mail, and anything that can go through the bottom can go oversized letter mail. Important. So that's just so I can like, before I go to the post office, know if something's going to be more expensive. But everything should predominantly, unless, unless there's like a lot, like, I should be able to send it regular mail. Sorry, regular oversized letter mail, not um, expedited or whatnot. So yeah, that's where we're at. Anyways, I think I'm gonna go now because I'm gonna climb into bed here soon. So with that, I'm gonna say thanks for coming along for the last two days and I will see you tomorrow, probably, <laughs> when we do very similar things. Good night.